Business Manager of Real Life Sciences in Ireland. Um, thank you all for joining us today. Um, I hope everyone's enjoying the conference so far. It seems to be a good buzz already, so um, I'm sure it'll be a busy day. Um, thank you anyway, and we'll crack on. So, um, just to give you an introduction, firstly, about myself and Real Life Sciences in Ireland. Today I'm going to be talking about um, your employee value proposition and creating your employer brand in the market and also um, how you can attract and retain and motivate your employees. Um, I myself have worked for Real Life Sciences for seven years. Um, I was the first person to join Real when we opened our Irish office four years ago. Um, so I'll talk through some of the experience I've had with working with some of the biggest pharmaceutical medical devices and healthcare companies in Ireland and globally. So just to give you a bit about Real to start off, so just to tell you about what services we provide as a business. So we're, we're, we um, provide contract and permanent recruitment to the life sciences sector, which involves you know, retained searches, contingency searches, and a real executive search for high level, uh, C-level positions. Our approach is very simple. You know, we, we do similar activities to other agencies. But what I'm going to talk about then is how we can bring how we bring that to the next level and differentiate ourselves um, against our competition in the market. So it's simple what we do. Um, sector and regional regional specialists who specialise in particular skill sets in particular locations. So for example, recruiting quality engineers, validation engineers, regulatory affairs specialists. Um, quality managers, pharmacovigilance, that kind of thing. So we utilize one of the world's largest life sciences uh, recruitment networks to find the best candidates globally. So on our database, we've up to a million, type, a million uh, candidate CVs across our 17 offices globally. Um, we do what we do by recognizing talent, value, valuing relationships, and delivering expertise, and we pride ourselves in, um, you know, our networking strengths, going to industry events, keeping abreast of what's what the current trends are, and um, valuing the relationships that we've built up over the ten years since we've been in business. So, just to recap, we we opened in two thousand and five. We've been in business for ten years. We're part of a large FTSE 250 company, um, life sciences specialists, and we place the specialists across the world every 45 minutes. That's across 450 uh, recruitment consultants worldwide. So our global capabilities, when we started 10 years ago, uh, Real had a vision that the sun would never set, that we'd be recruiting 24 hours a day and be able to service the large multinational companies um, across all their global locations. So we scaled our business to mirror match where these companies are based and now it's a case that in real every day the sun rises in Tokyo and sets in San Francisco so we're really proud of that fact that that dream has become a reality. So moving on to the employer brand, so you've probably heard a lot about this, it's very topical at the moment, a lot of companies are talking about it and the companies that are have created an employee, uh, an employee brand are the companies that are really succeeding in the marketplace it's extremely competitive at the moment um, to find the best candidates. There's a huge shortage uh, for skilled, the skilled professionals in Ireland. So many big companies all, you know, competing for the best staff. And because of the way the market's going, you know, candidates are more likely to move and get tempted away. And you know, with tools like LinkedIn and things like that, even if you're not looking, you've got you know offers coming your way all the time. So. What an employer brand is, it's defined as the reputation an organization has as an employer and how it is perceived by potential talent and existing employees. So it, it's twofolded in that way. It's not just what how you're perceived by com people who work for your company, but it's also how you're perceived on the marketplace. Uh, your employee brand should clearly set you apart from the competition um, by focusing on your unique selling points as an employer resulting in attracting and retaining the right talent so everyone you know who's ever hired anyone in the room will know the impact of hiring the wrong person or a couple of wrong people on your team it can set you back you know a really long time and cost you a lot in insuring as well so um, companies that have a strong employer brand pay 43 percent less on the cost per hire um, of their talent and you know are obviously more successful in the long run through you know having retained their staff and motivating their employees. So that brings me on to tell you a bit about Real Life Sciences and our employee brand. 
and how it's worked for us and what's been successful. So real, it, I think you know, with any employer brand, for it to be successful, it, it has to be simple and it has to be something that relates to the employees and they have to understand it. And you also need to ensure it's communicated from the top down and from you know from the bottom right up as well. So our employer brand at Real is, is straightforward. The first part of it is a career with purpose. So we use this to engage with both employees and clients to reinforce the impact of the work that we do as an agency and the importance of the industries that we operate in, i.e. the life sciences industry. So we really, really respect the fact that when we're placing people into life sciences companies, we're not just placing them you know, into a job, we're actually placing them into companies that can impact people's lives, you know, they're creating drugs that can save people's lives or medical devices that can improve the quality of people's lives in the long run. So, you know, for us as employees, we're not just coming into work every day just to recruit or just to find CVs for jobs. We're actually thinking of the end goal and the value that we can bring and the small, small part we can play in that overall picture. So therefore, you know, people coming into work in real every day, you know, feel engaged, feel inspired by what they're doing. And secondly, a career with no limits. So a real, a real life sciences, we have a, a, a real life sciences wide initiative designed to engage all our employees. So that might, that's to ensure that employees feel like they can progress their career within the company. There's no limitations on what we're offering and what they can do. So we really have leveraged our employer brand to differentiate our organization in a candidate driven competitive market and to retain the best um, the best talent in the life sciences industry. So just to put, put a figure on that, two years ago in our business in, in real life sciences in Ireland, we had really, really high churn, you know, people were moving on, you know, the engagement was low, people weren't that motivated, and now we have um, zero churn, we've had 100% retention for 15 months, and you know, the recruitment industry, that's really strong, so we're really proud of that, and that's enabled us then to build up a really solid team, consistency with our clients, and to really, you know, achieve our business goals in the long run, so that comes down to the employer brand, how we've been communicating, and how we've been driving that, and how our employees feel like they're part of the bigger picture. So this brings on to it's hashtag inspired by you. So back in November, globally real created uh, an underlying concept called inspired by you. And what that means is it's the, it's a mindset core to everything we stand for. So it's a universal thought across all our consultants, 450 consultants worldwide. And what that means is uh, it demonstrates a real understanding of our clients' objectives and our candidates' motivations. So we realised, um, you know, companies all tell you what they need to do, and they tell, you know, when you work for a company, they tell you what you need to do, and then when you work for a company, they tell you how to do it. But what a lot of companies fall down in, they don't actually tell you the why you're doing it. So, you know, you could work in any company, medical devices, pharma, healthcare, hospital, and you know what you have to do, and then when you're there, they'll tell you how you do it, but rarely companies take the time to actually explain to their employees the why, why, why are you doing it, why is it important, um, and why are you here, you know, essentially what gets you out of bed every day, what gets you to go to work. Um, so we realised that we need to understand our client's objectives, so what it is the company is trying to achieve is key, and also our candidate's motivation. So when we, don't, when, when we go to meet clients now, we don't actually ask them, can you tell me what jobs you've got coming up? Can you tell me what you need to hire? We actually ask them, what is it that you're trying to achieve? What are your goals and why? Why is this important? Uh, by understanding that then, it makes us have more enriched relationships with our customers and we can understand then our candidates' motivations. So yeah, people come to us and say, I, I want to change jobs, but we, we, we want to understand the why. Um, why, what is it that motivates them about their current role, what is it that will motivate them about their next role, therefore when we do place them, they're much, much more satisfied and motivated to be there. We realise we place people into new jobs, so it's one of the most important parts of people's lives. Um, we read a survey recently of 30, 30 to 40 year olds and of the six um, most important moments in their life, you know, it's getting married, buying a house, death of a loved one and things like changing jobs so I think a lot of the time in, 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 in life we underestimate how big of a deal it is to change jobs I know for myself I've been with my company for seven years and 
you know, to be honest, if I had to move, it would be a huge change. You're, the people you work with become, you know, like your family. You know, it's, it's what you're used to. It's who, who's been with you every day. So we, we understand the impact that it can have on, you know, if people have kids. You know, if people are going outside the comfort zone or if they're, they want to be, you know, be motivated, motivated by what they do every day. Sorry. So, just an example from last month. So, we work with um, Boston Scientific in, in Ireland. They're one of our biggest clients. We have a really good relationship with them. And um, we ask every candidate that we speak to now, what is it that you like? What is it that inspires you about what you do? And we ask every client. And um, the answers we've been getting have been phenomenal and highly, you know, emotional and emotive. And I think some people, some people stumble upon a career, but in, in the life sciences sector, the people that work in the life sciences sector tend to be, to be there for a reason. You have to be extremely passionate about what you do. Um, this particular candidate said his company has a patient day every month when they, they bring patients directly affected by the products that they develop into the business and introduces them and he said it brightens up their day so when you get to see that end result it makes a huge difference so that links back to the question why is it that we're doing what we're doing and that, that's how you form the basis of your employer brand so why is your EVP important so an EVP summarizes your offerings to your employees it also defines what you as an employer and expect from your people in return. So, you know, I think people like to know what it is that's expected of them because, they, you know, they want to be able to do a good job. So, you know, it's a two-way relationship, a two-way street. They, they need to know what skills and experience they need to bring as well. So, if, if your company doesn't have an EVP, uh, the key things to think about are what are your company's objectives? What is it your company's trying to achieve? What are your USPs, both internally and externally? What can differentiate you from other companies in the market? And do you offer a career with purpose? You know, do employees feel inspired to be there and do they understand why they're there? And then in turn, what do you need from them? So I'd suggest for any companies who aren't clear on it to really think about these things and think about these topics. And you know, it's a case of actually not just working it out yourself, but working it out with everyone in the company and seeing what people's perspectives and opinions on it are, and then making sure everybody it's communicated to everyone so everyone knows the purpose. So a couple other quick points before I finish up. What other, what else companies need to you know to focus on when they're trying to attract the best people? So, you know, I think last year I probably met about 200 hiring managers in the market and they all asked me the same question, um, what, what, what can we do to get people, you know, we're finding it hard. So, you know, engage with prospective candidates, be at events, be in the market, hold candidate open days, um, you know, meet them, meet them for coffees, be innovative in your approach to attracting candidates. So, the best companies are the companies that are trying to do something different. I think the days of putting a, an ad on a job board isn't going to attract the best people. If you're trying to attract passive candidates, you need to think outside the box. And um, Think about your relationship with your recruitment partners as well. So if you use a recruitment agency, um, think about do they know how to communicate what it is you're trying to achieve? Are they are they clear on what your employee value employee uh, EVP is as well. Do they are they saying the same thing on the market as you want them to be? Make sure the interview process is of, as effective as possible. So the overall candidate experience has to be great. You know, candidates get extremely frustrated about not getting a reply or not getting a response, and um, ensure that um, the traditional recruitment you're you're keeping up to date with how things are changing, as I just mentioned. So the takeaway points for today is. Understanding what and how will only get your business so far. It's really understanding the why. Make your employees the centre of your employee brand strategy and ensure they have a career with purpose. Each point of the hiring process should reflect your mission statement and what you're trying to achieve. And bring your strategy alive um, and make your employers the ambassadors for it. They'll be the ones promoting you on the market. And being customer focused will ensure you're at the forefront um, of everything and share with us you know what it is that inspires you about working within the industry so that brings me to an end today and um, my contact details are here here and there's a couple of people from real here as well so if you'd like to um, 
ask any questions. Um, I'll, I know we're running out of time now, but I'll be around here after, and there is my contact details or connect on LinkedIn. So thank you all for joining me, and um, I hope you all enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you.